Hi guys, welcome. Dori Sukup here, founder of Inspiration Management. I am super excited today for doing this webinar for you. This webinar is all about arming you with strategies to help you leap into this new year. I'm super, super glad that you're with me. We actually had record-breaking registrations for this event so obviously nothing makes me happier than to see so many people that are into education and wanting to improve their business so welcome it's so great to have you here and i want to start by telling you who this is actually for to get us started on the right foot here so if you're interested in getting proven effective strategies that are going to help you improve your business you're definitely in the right place if you're tired of reinventing the wheel and you want proven effective processes and systems, then you're definitely in the right place. This is not for anybody who thinks that they can wave a magic wand and all of a sudden the business is gonna get better. It does take you taking the formulas, you taking the blueprints and actually implementing them to see the results in actually improving your business. So what we're going to do is we have an hour together to spend where I'm gonna share with you some of the most important information that we usually share during the Leap Ahead seminar. We're going to be talking about systems, structure, strategies, and solutions. It's what I call the four S's. The four S's to experience exponential growth. So for the entire next hour, I'm going to go over some of the content that I normally share at the Leap Ahead seminar that will give you a nice little jump start to get you going and get you started in the right direction so you can have a super, super successful year. So again, I'm very glad that you're with us. If you have questions as we're going along, please feel free, if you're on Zoom with us, feel free to send in your question right on this platform, or you can always email it. We're also live on Facebook Live and on Instagram, so if you have questions, so anytime going through this, make sure you reach out and say, Dory, please help, and I'm going to be able to help you and answer your questions. Now, this is also being recorded and it's going to be available for you uh, later on for people that could not get on because I think we maxed out our ability to host everybody so we will be sending it out so you guys can have the information so let me start by telling you a little bit about myself we have people actually from all over the world with us as far as Australia Japan China Africa, we have people from all over joining us today, all over the US. So welcome everybody. I know some of you are on totally opposite time zone than we are. So congratulations on getting up in the middle of the night or uh, staying up late to actually watch it and be with us. So what I wanna do is for the people that don't know who I am, just give you a brief little introduction. I noticed on the registration list, we had a bunch of platinum members, titanium members. See, that's what I love about our members is that they're just always so hungry for information. They never stop learning. Even though they might have heard some of this information, I'm gonna go over, but it's always good to keep hearing it over and over because the more you hear it, the better off you're going to be. So welcome members and welcome everybody else. So if you've never been to one of my webinars before, again, my name is Dori Sukup and I'm the founder of Inspiration Management. And for the past 19 years, we have been helping people elevate their success. We specialize in Medispa and spa business development. I am an author, so if you don't have my book yet, actually I have a couple of books. I'm about ready to publish, publish my third book. So if you don't have these books yet, you can hop to inspirationmanagement.com and you'll be able to download them uh, free of charge. So make sure you do if you have not already done so. 
So on top of helping people with their business, of course, we do a lot of seminars. We do a lot of events. I lead a mastermind group. Um, I'm a marketing expert and everything that we do and we promote and offer are all proven effective systems and strategies to help you with your business. So again, it's always good to keep learning and keep uh, improving your business. What I would like to do is uh, go ahead and get started. But before so, last night, my son came back from Australia. This is Charlie. So on top of having my own business and working very hard and having an entire team that actually is here also to help you, uh, I have a handsome son. He's 21 years old, Charlie. He was a gator, but um, about six months ago, he called me up and says, Mom, I want to go and study abroad. I'm like, okay, I figured he's going to go maybe across the pond to either England or France. He's like, no, I'm choosing Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> so he wanted to go on the other side of the world. So he just came back last night to uh, spend some time here, and then he'll be going for another month in Australia. But I have to tell you, part of being an entrepreneur and being successful is having the ability to do stuff like this for your family members. And it's so nice to be able to do these kind of things. And uh, that's really why you work. And that's why you became an entrepreneur to begin with, right? So, okay, enough about me and Charlie and my team. So let's go ahead and dive in and tell you what we do here. Here's the problem. A lot of the phone calls that we get in for people that are seeking help is we hear all kinds of stories actually. And the stories resemble the wild, wild west quite a bit. It's crazy <laughs> because the stories that we hear sound like nobody is in charge. Everybody is doing crazy things and they're not really following your rules and your procedures the biggest challenges we see is most people don't have any systems. They have no business model in place. There's no marketing plan. Uh, there's no financial budgets. And it's just, it is like the wild, wild west because people are ruling the business rather than the business being able to provide law and order to everybody within the organization. So what we want to do is stop this craziness and madness of the wild, wild west and bring in the sheriff to town and have some law and order because the bottom line, you guys, is you became an entrepreneur to have more freedom, to make more money, to have more time, to do whatever you want, to be able to buy anything you want. But instead, you end up working more being totally stressed out, uh, not having any time because you're almost working 24 seven and you basically just bought yourself a job. And that's just crazy to me. You don't wanna do that. So what I wanna do here is provide you with some tools that are gonna ease some of this pressure and provide you with a blueprint to actually do things right by you, your business and your team. So we wanna get rid of this uh, wild, wild ma madness and have law and order. So how do we have law and order? By having structure, systems, strategies, solutions, opportunities to be able to have total structure for your team and be able to provide them with the blueprint that they need to actually continue their success and continue charting a path to success. So I'm going to spend some time talking about those things. And then I'm going to help you implement some of the four S's so you can achieve success. And then I'm going to invite you to receive the blueprint for success and then answer any of your questions. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. I want to ask you a question. Do you feel right now that you are surviving the fierce competition that's available? It, are you doing that? You want to have a competitive advantage so the competition is no longer a factor at all. So what we want to do is go fast rather than slow 
and be able to implement what we need to do in our business in order to be successful. So I want you to make a commitment right now to stop reinventing the wheel because reinventing the wheel causes you to move at a turtle pace and that's very slow. What I want you to do instead is be fast and be able to implement proven effective things that are gonna get you going so quickly and be able to reach better results a lot faster. First S we're gonna talk about is structure. Now structure is a definition in two ways for your business. The first is having the business structure, and that's not really what I'm talking about. The business structure is when you decide how you want to structure your actual business. Are you going to be a partnership? Are you going to be an S Corp? Are you going to be an LLC? So that's a given. Anytime you're starting a business, you have business structure to decide on what you want to do. Then on the other side here, what we want to talk about is management structure. There's a big difference between the two. So once you've set up your structure, then the management structure is what you want to focus on. And that includes, these are, by the way, some of the things that it includes. It includes some of your organizational structure. It includes how your communication method structure is within your business, your culture, your entire environment, uh, the training and development. Those are all components of structure that you would have within your business. So I want to ask you, do you focus on these things? I want you to assess what you're doing right now as far as structure. And if you're not doing some of these things, then we really need to get started on it. So let me just go over a couple of things to help you establish good structure within your organization. Now, I don't care what kind of uh, spa you have, whether it's a day spa, medical spa, wellness center, uh, yoga, fitness, whatever it is that you have, there are four main business components to your actual business. You have your operations, you have your sales, your marketing, and your finance. And those are four components that you must have structure for within your business. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each one here to help you define what kind of structure you really need to have. So let's start with this. Let's start with the organizational structure and how you operate your business usually. This is a bad model right here. This is a bad company structure. So you have you as an entrepreneur in the middle, and then you have all the departments around you. You have your guest relations department, or you might call it your reception department. You have your treatment providers. It could be injectors, estheticians, massage therapists, whoever. You have your marketing department, you have your sales department, you have your management team, and then you have your financials, either a bookkeeper or an accountant or somebody. Now, what happens with this type of structure is that when everybody is reporting to you, you end up being overwhelmed, you never get anything done, that's where the frustration sits in because everybody's coming to you from all different directions because they need answers from you. Well, that's your typical company structure. And this is a terrible, terrible structure. And this is where almost all of you live under this here. So instead, what you should do is follow this structure. So what you want to do is have a buffer. So I wanna introduce you to Denise Dubois. Uh, Denise and I met a few years ago. She's a Coach Me Platinum member. She attended all of our events. She's written a book, she's done everything. And when I first met Denise, she was operating under the old structure. That was Denise. That was Denise here in the middle. And she, Denise has over a hundred employees. She has two locations, one in Albany and one in Saratoga, New York. And Denise belonged to the Got A Minute Club. You know what that is? That's when you have 100 people coming to you saying, Got A Minute? <laughs> That's what they're all doing all day long. So needless to say, you don't get much done when you belong to the Got A Minute Club because the structure is wrong. 
So instead, when we started working together, what we did is we put buffers between Denise and actually the team. So what we did is we created a position where one person was in charge. You can call them the CEO if you want, your chief operating officer, or you could call them your spa director or practice manager or whatever you want to call them. And then you have all your departments, but on top of that, you need another buffer, which is a team leader for each department. Now, of course, Denise's business was big enough to where she needed department leads. And now if you have a large team, that's great. You can have a lead for every single department within your organization. And if you don't, then you might want to do one, one spa lead or medi spa lead. And it depends on how many people then use that structure. What I'm trying to do though for you is you need to spend time on building your business. And that does take time in a day for you to plan, visualize, execute, implement. That takes time. And if you're busy fielding questions and silly little requests from your team, then you're not helping your organization. So what we want to do instead is be able to have that buffer. So I want you to look at your company structure and see how you can modify it so you don't have to deal with that stuff. That's not something that you really should do. So now Denise business is totally different than what it was. Now she has meetings with her department leads once a week and they fill her in on what's going on. Now she has more time to strategically plan. She has more time for vacations. She doesn't have to be at her work all the time. She can actually go and have fun and enjoy life rather than being here all the time at her work. So that's what I want for you. So that's one thing as far as structure that you can actually change. Now, the other thing that Denise did is she created, she took all the manuals that we have and she customized them for every single department within her organization. And now the department leads between the manuals that they use for a new hire and between all the other tools that she can access as a platinum member, they have taken all the audios, the transcription, all the tools by department and actually help their team grow the business. So it makes such a difference in your business when you have your business model in writing and everybody on the team is clear as to what they need to do. Makes a big, big difference. So I would like you to take some time to assess your structure, see where you are right now, what modifications you need to do in order to improve it. Because the more solid your structure is, the stronger your business is going to be. So that's my first um, tip for you with structure. So let's talk a little bit now about system. And by the way, again, if you have questions, feel free to submit them so I can help you further. So let's talk about systems. I love this picture here because when you have systems, you literally will unleash your chains and be able to fly and gain the freedom that you want and do whatever you want to do. Because if you don't have systems, oh my gosh, it is like the wild, wild west. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt. So systems will definitely set you free. So what kind of systems should you have? So let's talk a little bit about that. I gave you five. Of course, there's a lot more systems. You need to systemize everything in your business. Because when you have systems, that means you can go away and the business will run on autopilot. So you don't have to be there. The leaders that tell me, oh, I have to be there or everything falls apart, guess what, you're not a leader. So if you leave and your business still runs beautifully, then you're on top of your game. 
As a matter of fact, I was talking with titanium member, Dr. Stain, a couple of weeks ago, and she had gone on a vacation for two weeks, two weeks. And she came back and her team exceeded her expectations. They sold over 50 memberships uh, while she was gone. <laughs> Can you imagine you go on vacation for a couple of weeks and come back and your team has sold 50 memberships? That's awesome. So that's the sign of a good leader. That's a sign of systemization. And when you have that, then you're doing great. So let's talk about the five that I have here for you. The first one, and really this is the most important one because lead generation should be on top of your priority list. Because if you don't generate leads, then you're not counting on traffic coming into your business and increasing your capacity. And if you're not looking at how many leads you generate every single night before you go to bed, then again, you're not paying attention to your business. So the first system you need to have in place is how do we generate leads? How do we generate prospects into our business? How do we get the phone to ring? That's the first one. The second one is once that phone rings or once somebody is opting in to our list, whether it's from a website, whether it's from an event or whatever you have going on, is are we converting them into clients? Do you even track that? And you know what? Most people do not track the conversion rate from lead to client. That's a big, big mistake. Then once they come in as a brand new client, do you have a consultation system in place? And if you don't, again, you're totally missing out on the opportunities to customize programs and generate thousands and thousands of dollars. Number four is the system on how we deliver the guest experience. How do we perform these treatments? How do we get our clients to say, wow, do we have a system for that? And then of course, we need a system for revenue generation. And my favorite is the membership model, is reoccurring revenue. Do you have a system on how we convert clients into members so they can keep paying us thousands and thousands of dollars every time, every, every month. That's really the, the goal here. So how do we do this? How do we generate these systems? So I'm going to share with you just a couple of things because again, we only have a limited amount of time. Uh, you should definitely start by, first of all, identifying how many leads you really need to do and how many clients do you need to reach your actual targets? And then how much do we want to generate per client for us to actually reach our goals. Now, if you have the marketing plan in your arsenal, in your business tools, uh, we have, it's called marketing for success. And in the marketing plan, there are exercises that you can go through to actually show you what you need to do to get all these numbers. Now, if you don't have the marketing plan, then get into your software system, start running some of these numbers, and you can actually come up with these numbers. Because if you don't know these numbers, then again, you're not running your business systematically. And to have systems, you also need to know your numbers. So I want you to be a low Einstein, right? <laughs> actually get yourself to really be familiar with all your numbers and know how much it's costing you to get a client and to retain one. And those are things, by the way, that we actually talk about during the uh, Leap Ahead seminar. And the, actually, the whole first day is nothing but marketing. And I take you through this whole process to really identify the lead generations, the cost per lead, the conversion rates, and how to increase your capacity. So important things to generate more revenue and be more successful. All right, so let's talk next about the systems 
that we actually teach and I want to introduce you to Mark and Rhonda they're from Salt Lake City uh, they were on the coach me expert interview with us they run an amazing business they have a medi spa it's called trilogy medical center it's very unique because they have a medical spa but they also have an operating uh, platform within their business where they actually have plastic surgeons that do uh, surgeries right in their medical spa i have to tell you they are such trend setters they stay on top of everything so they can be the best of the best and i have to tell you they are the best of the best in their area so i met them while i was speaking at the am spa conference and um, they attended one of my lectures and right away uh, Rhonda she always tells me I just fell in love with you Dory and they came to the booth after my lecture was over and we started talking and they joined uh, the coach me platinum uh, almost like on the spot because though they were very successful and that's the thing I love about our community is you know we don't have losers in the inspiration management community everybody we work with they're already successful they want to be more successful so like these two guys Mark and Rhonda I mean they're there's just they're so successful and yeah they wanted to be able to implement some of the systems that we teach so they can take their business to a whole new level. As a matter of fact, they've done so good that they're actually purchased. They just purchased the land and a building that they're having built. So it's brand new. They're doing all the space planning, all the building, and they just broke ground on it, as a matter of fact. And it's going to be amazing. They're going to have two operating rooms plus a huge medispa. And that's what it really takes to be successful is you keep learning, you keep reinventing yourself and keep being ahead of the competition and keep innovating. So, you know, I've told you before, I, I'm just such a big believer in education. Um, I spent, I just did my budget as a matter of fact, and this year I'm going to spend over $60,000 on my education so I can keep teaching you and helping you. And if you don't have a budget for education, you're totally missing the whole point of what exponential growth is all about. Because no one, no one is going to experience exponential growth without education, continued education. So, and that's what I love about these guys. They're just amazing. These are some of the systems that we teach that they've actually implemented. And they're seeing great results with them. So if you want to um, tap into some of these systems that I'm mentioning, you can find them all in the manuals that you offer. Now you might be thinking, oh, Dory's trying to sell me. Listen, thank God I don't need to make a sale that badly. I'm, I'm telling you this so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's just like if I came to you and I have terrible skin and I need help you would be cheating me out of your professional advice if you don't tell me what products and what treatments I need. So this is what I'm doing. Actually, you need to be learning from me right now to what I'm doing with you. So if you have tools that can help make people's better lives better, then you'll be crazy not to make recommendations. These tools will help make your life easier. And that's why I'm telling you about them. Now, whether you buy it or not, you know, whatever, c'est la vie, <laughs> but at least you know that they exist and you don't have to start from scratch. That's all I'm saying. So you need to be doing the same thing with your clients, telling them all the great things that you have to offer. All right, so let's talk about uh, the third S. We talked about structure. We talked about um, systems. Now let's talk about strategies. Strategies to me uh, are really key because if you don't keep coming up with new strategies to help you grow your business, then you're not, again, paying attention. And one of the most important strategies to me is actually differentiation. You have got to differentiate yourself from the competition. That's number one. 
if you copying your competition and you're doing just everything that everybody else is doing, that's just, that's wrong. You should not be doing that. You should look at your competition so you don't do what they do. So you can do something totally different. So that's number one, differentiation. So if you were to ask yourself, what makes me different than the competition? What is that? One thing, two things, three things. And don't tell me, oh, I deliver a great guest experience. That's what everybody else says. Oh, I have great products. That's what everybody says. Oh, I have a great team. That's what everybody says. How do you show people that you're different? And that's a very difficult thing to do. And you need to really pay attention and come up with that unique selling proposition to help your business. So that's number one, differentiation. One of the best way to differentiate yourself, by the way, is to be a published author. I have to tell you, when I wrote my book, my first one, my business went on steroids. And if you haven't looked into becomepublished.com yet, so you can see how you can get published, you need to go and check that out. So that's number one, differentiation. Number two is stop discounting. It's crazy. You don't want to discount. You want to target people that can afford what you actually do. See, here's the fact. What we do is not something that everybody have to have. It's not brain surgery. It's not heart surgery. It's nothing like death or life, right? So we do things that people have an option to do or not to do. So why would you want to focus on targeting people that can barely afford what you have, so then you're forced to discount? Well, that's just stupid. Why would you want to do that? Oh, I just remembered Nyla, one of our Platinum members. She always tells me, oh, but Dory, you say that all the time. <laughs> but that's just stupid. <laughs> well, I like you to be smart. We don't want to be not smart, right? We want to attract the affluent. And by attracting the affluent, we'll be able to raise our prices and be able to charge more. I was talking, as a matter of fact, yesterday, I was doing a private coaching call with one of our Titanium members, Dr. Mendez, and she's just launching her Botox membership. So on the floor, she tells me, oh, I think I'm going to do the membership for $10 a unit. I'm like, no, we're not doing a membership for $10 a unit. She's like, but my regular price is 12. Okay, well, no, the regular price is not 12. We're going to raise the regular price to 14, and then you can do the membership at 12. And she says, but how do I do that? I'm like, you're a doctor. You're, you're not just a nurse or a PA or an MP, you're a doctor. You should be able to even charge more than $12. So if we decide on our true worth, then we'll be able to charge the true price we want to charge and not discount so much. So get over the discounting and start owning your ground and charge what you deserve to actually collect and generate, okay? So that's another strategy you should focus on. Number three is this is so bad. This, there's so much money left on the table from lack of upgrading and retail sales. So instead, I want you to come up again with a good strategy to show your team. All you have to do, by the way, for this is implement the pride system that we teach for upgrade and retail sales, and then implement the event planning to generate more sales. Those are all tools that, and strategies that you should be having within your place. The other thing is uh, to increase your capacity, you have to have smart marketing strategies. And if you focus on just these four things that we're talking about, believe me, it will make such a big difference to your business. And there's no reason why you can't actually implement these things. So I wanna give you a couple of little tips here on how you show differentiation 
and how you can increase capacity just like this this is so important and i know you guys can do this like overnight you can do this because i've had attendees at the leap ahead seminar and the next morning they come in and say i already did what you told me and i already generated 25 and 30 leads this is the truth all right so i want you to meet beth this is beth pastotnik Beth uh, has been working with us. Oh my gosh. I think she's one of my, uh, not oldest in age, one of my oldest clients. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love Beth. She's amazing. When we started working together, she was a solopreneur. She was renting a room from a doctor's office. And now she has a full blown medical spa and day spa. And she has a team of 15 people and she has an amazing business so i've seen her grow and chart a great entrepreneurial path like no one else and she did it all organically you guys and that's the beautiful thing again about members in the community and in inspiration management community is we have the the super wealthy that start with a great investment right away and build a big place right away and then we have the people that start organically and grow to the millions so no matter where you are right now you can actually place yourself uh, in that path so no matter where you are now you can work your way towards millions by being smart and implementing the four s's that i'm talking about all right so let me tell you a little bit about how you can uh, improve your online presence so you can generate more leads so your website is one of the most important things in your business in your in your branding in your positioning and people are more likely to find you online before they find you anywhere else so when i come to your home page there are some essential things that you must have uh, in that so you need to be able to engage your clients or your prospects that are visiting you want to be able to generate leads you wanna get them to opt in, to give you their information so they can get on your list. And you wanna be able to monetize things from the website. So just to give you some ideas on how to engage, a uh, good way to engage people, and this has been working so well, is to have a first time visitor gift card right on your homepage. So if somebody is a first time visitor, you're enticing them by having a gift card. And to get the gift card, they have to opt in and actually give you their information. And now they're actually on your list and you can start marketing to them. The other way you can engage is by having your book on the home page. Again, Beth is a published author, so her book is here. People can actually get it online. I did an interview with her so people can download an interview. There's an assessment that people can take. So these are all engagement opportunities. So instead of the people just coming and leaving right away, they're actually engaged. And then it gives them some information about the different treatments and things. So, and of course, purchasing gift cards and making online reservations, that's how you monetize. So little tweaks on your site will make a big difference to your success. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but these are things that we can do so quickly for you. So you can start engaging, generating leads and monetizing almost immediately. So make sure you assess your site. If you wanna take an assessment, by the way, you can actually go online to inspirationmanagement.com and be able to take an assessment to see how good your online presence is. So these are some of the ideas I wanna give you. Now I'm talking to you about the affluent, right? So who are these people? So just to give you a quick idea, um, there are about 24 million people that are considered affluent. So I don't care what part of the country you live in. Some people tell me, yeah, but I live in uh, so-and-so. It's a little tiny community. I don't care where you live. There are affluent people no matter where you are. There are. You just have to go find them. 
So according to this uh, income tiers, so 11% of these 24 million people actually make 250,000 or more. 32% make between 249 to 150, and 57% make between 100 and 149. These are the people that can afford you. These are the people that can do that. Now I want you to look at this sign I have here next to you. So I was driving down, actually I was riding with a friend of mine who was driving down I-4. I-4 is in Florida, Interstate 4, going between Daytona where our office is and Orlando. And here's the sign. This is a doctor uh, and advertising Botox at $8.99. Do you know that you can't make any money selling Botox for $8.99? It's like, what's even the point? You know how much it's costing him just to have this billboard on I-4? So why would you want to do that? So during some of my seminars, I do this exercise. And this is always amazing to me. Yeah, people are sitting and I say, okay, who here charges $10 a unit? And so many people raise their hand. How many people charge 11? A few more people. How many people charge 12? A couple people. How many charge 13, 14, 15? And, you know, the number goes down as the higher I go, of course. And there's always a couple people in there that are charging $14.50 or $15 a unit. So what separates the person that's charging $15 a unit versus the person that's charging $8.99 or $10 a unit? What's the difference? What is the difference? Isn't that crazy? All it is is self-worth. The person that's just that's charging $15 a unit thinks more highly of themselves than the person that's charging $10 a unit. There is no difference. And people tell me, but that's what everybody else is charging. Well, that's just stupid. What do you mean? Just because everybody else is charging that doesn't mean you have to charge that. So I have one client, Dr. Davis, and she used to give me that all the time. But that's what everybody else is charging. I said, raise your prices. So finally, she listened and raised them. She was charging 10. She raised them to 12. And month goes by. I said, raise them again. Went up to 13. I said, raise them again. Went up to 14. And you know what happened in her area? Everybody else raised the prices. So she set the new standards. So don't cheapen yourself. Get paid your true worth. That's what this is all about. And if you believe in yourself that you are the expert and that you can do this, you can charge whatever you want, then you can earn your true worth. So don't cheapen yourself. It makes a big difference to your bottom line. Big difference. All right. So the other thing is uh, smart marketing. I just want to say quickly about this. When you're doing marketing, there are three things you need to focus on. And that's the target market like we just talked about the message that you're sending, and then the media. Which media are you using to actually get your message across? And if you don't have those accurately, then you're in big trouble. As a matter of fact, during the new seminar that we launched called The Millionaire Circle, I spent the entire time talking about how to attract the affluent, how to market to them, and how to profit from them. If you go on YouTube, there's a preview webinar that I did. You can go watch. It's complimentary. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, you should. I'm doing the question of the week every single week now. So it's a great way for you to stay on top of things and uh, watch all the videos that we actually do. Okay, so watch your marketing and make sure that you're doing smart marketing. The other thing I want to mention to you real quick is doing events and how important events are to your business and how you can literally generate thousands and thousands of dollars from just one event. So while you're on YouTube, you should watch this video of me and John Wheeler discussing how we implemented just one strategy from the event planning uh, audio that we have and how he made 161,000, over 160,000 in um, one event during the grand opening actually. So you should go watch it. But if you're not doing events, and you're not using the strategies that I teach in events, 
again, you're missing out. You're trying to reinvent the wheel and you're missing out on a lot of money. So make sure you go and do that. All right, so now uh, talking about sales, right? Sales, 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 so important. I wanna introduce you to Tracy. I love Tracy, Tracy Allman. She owns uh, Soulscapes in Pennsylvania. And we were just doing a coaching call and she reported to me that her sales are up 56%. Her VPG was almost $400 a treatment, you guys. And this is a holistic place. We're not talking about Botox. We're not talking about fillers. We're not talking about lasers. She has a holistic day spa. And this is what she has done with her business, with her facials. So again, if Tracy can do that, so can you. I don't want to hear any excuses, but you need to stop thinking that sales is a dirty little world word it's not sales is a good word because if we don't have sales nothing nothing will happen in this world as a matter of fact imagine if nothing got sold today what would happen if nothing got sold today the whole economy will collapse so you need to focus on sales and you need to implement the pride system you need to implement the sales model you need to implement sales strategies so revenue keeps coming in and you can keep growing your business, okay? So if these guys can do it, so can you, no, no doubt about it. All right, so as far as solutions, the fourth S we're getting to here, uh, that's having some ideas that will problem solve some of your main issues. And I have to tell you, these are big, the ones I listed here for you. Uh, financial, financials, it, it's a big problem. Hardly anybody has a budget. Hardly anybody has a, a performance-based compensation model. I was talking with Brandon yesterday, another Platinum member, and he was telling me that his, he was on his honeymoon in uh, Mexico when his nurse practitioner, I guess, decided to move away because she had like a mental breakdown or something mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it's a blessing because he was paying her almost a hundred thousand dollars a year just flat without being a performance-based compensation model and i'm like that's great brandon let's just find now two nurse practitioners and let's make a performance-based compensation model so it's not costing you an arm and a leg but you're giving them the opportunity to make more money when they perform so I'm so excited actually for him. It's amazing how things happen for a reason. So you never know. The other thing is pricing your treatments. As I was just mentioning to you, pricing makes a big, big problem for most people because they don't know how to price their treatments properly. Uh, of course, your guest experience and the way your team delivers the guest experience. You need to have great solutions for all these problems that could come up. And then, of course, branding and positioning. Most people don't have good branding and not everything is cohesive. Like the website is one color, the business card is another, their event planning is something else. And it's just, it's like a mishmash of different things that don't present you again in a very professional way. So those are things that will come up in your business that you need to have solutions for. So that's your fourth S that you should really focus on. So here's where you are right now. You need to design a path for success to millions. If you took the time to be an entrepreneur, you might as well make millions. And, or, or else why really be in business? You didn't leave your corporate job or your professional other job or whatever to be an entrepreneur so you can scrape and fight for scraps, you became an entrepreneur so you can be independently wealthy. So you can either uh, take this long way, you see the reality here to successful, you can keep going around in a circle, keep trying to reinvent the wheel, or you can take a straight shot to success and enjoy life and enjoy all the reasons why you became an entrepreneur. So really that choice is yours. All these examples of people I shared with you are people 
who actually have attended many of our seminars. They've attended the Leap Ahead, they've attended the Millionaire Circle, um, all these different events. But if you want to focus on implementing the four S's, and really, I barely scraped the surface with you in this hour, you guys. There is, the Leap Ahead is actually three days. So imagine three days of me giving you an entire effective blueprint to help you run your business from A to Z and reach the goal that you want to reach, which is ultimate success. That's really what the Leap Ahead Seminar is all about. So some of the systems that I told you come as a uh, USB that has all the content that you need on it that you can download. And that's really what I love about the Leap Ahead Seminar is that you don't just leave with uh, things, ideas, you leave with actual tools to implement right away and you get this ginormous binder that has all the content that we go over plus the marketing plan. So you leave armed with all these tools. Now, again, I'm telling you this because there's no reason for you to reinvent the wheel. I'm telling you this because uh, we have graduated thousands of people from different events and seminars that we have done. And if they can do it and be successful, so can you. And that's the truth. And as a matter of fact, we guarantee everything that we do. So if at the end of the seminar, for some reason, he decided, oh, you know, I didn't learn much, <laughs> then we'll be more than happy to give you your money back. But we have never, ever done that. So there's two events. If you want to implement the four S's, there's two events I want to tell you quickly about. That's the Leap Ahead Seminar and the Millionaire Circle. And people ask me, well, which one should I attend first? You should definitely attend the Leap Ahead first because the Leap Ahead provides you the entire business model of what you need to do, where the Millionaire Circle helps you implement the affluent system to attract more uh, high paying clients and to help improve your positioning as an influencer. So there are two different seminars. Definitely attend Leap Ahead first and then the Millionaire Circle. So those are the two. So this is the last graduating class from the Leap Ahead. And um, they're armed now with the things that they need to do. So we usually have them on the beach, which is nice. You get to come and relax and enjoy yourself a little bit, but at the same time learn. So you can actually leap into success. So I wanna invite you to go to inspirationmanagement.com and there you'll find out all kinds of information. Plus you get to see uh, what other people have said about the leap ahead by seeing some of the raving fans. So you get to watch movies, videos of what people have said, what they've gained, what they've thought about it. So you can actually feel confident that you also will benefit. So I see a bunch of questions that are actually coming in here. So I want to take a few minutes here and answer some of them. But I want to leave you with this. You see the snails on my screen? Leave that for the competition. Let them be the snail. You want to take charge of your success. You want to leap into success. You don't want to take your time and wait year after year after year before you start really generating the income that you really deserve. So you have a choice. You can either be a snail or a turtle, or you can be a rabbit by gaining all the information that you need and speed your way to success. So that's the choice that you need to make. I don't know about you. I'd much rather be a rabbit. <laughs> I'd much rather leap into success rather than to snail my way into success. So anyway, I want to invite you to go and check it out. I do have an offer for you today. For those of you who would like to join us, uh, you can check out all the dates on the website and you can receive uh, $500 off each seminar by using the code EVENTS. So I leave you with that. So let me answer some of the questions that we have 
and uh, we'll go from there. So let's see. The first question I have is from Amber in California. Her question is, generating revenue and selling is my biggest problem. I can't get my team to do it. I am driving myself crazy. What can I do to get them to sell? Well, Amber, you're not alone. Everybody has that problem. And what that tells me is, again, you don't have systems in place on what they need to do to actually sell. And then you don't have consequences because if they're not doing what you want them to do, that tells me there's no consequences and they're not following your policies and your procedures. They're not following the four S's that we just talked about. So they have no structure, they have no systems, you have no solutions for them to actually learn how to do it, and there are no strategies of what they need to do. So if you take, uh, even if you don't come to Leap Ahead, if you just take the don't sell recommend alone, just that alone will make such a big difference in your in your sales. It's available in the shopping cart. I don't have one here, but it looks like it's like one of the USBs and you'll be able to download it and address that problem. Or you can come to the leap ahead and I can give you the entire sales model so you can actually improve your business. All right, so I have another question here from Annette from New York. So she says, I've been in business for 15 years. I know I can do a lot better. I have no systems and structure. Where should I get started? And that's a great question, Annette. Um, well, you should really start by coming to LEAP. That would be a great first step for you. Or you can start by purchasing the manuals and start customizing them and start implementing some of that information. But either way, um, I would rather you get the entire business model and then come back and start implementing the four S's and you'll see a major improvement, that's for sure. So that would be a good thing for you. I have one more question here from Gary in Texas. He says, you are right, Dory. I don't focus on lead generation. How can I learn more about it so we can increase our traffic? So there are several things actually we can do with that one. We can do some uh, first assessment of your site, your online presence, see what you have in place right now. So we do that through some private coaching and uh, then make some recommendations. But also you will benefit from Leap Ahead for because the entire first day is all marketing. So you can come and gain a lot of different strategies to help you increase traffic for sure. So either one of those two things will definitely be helpful for you. I'll answer one more because we are right at the hour here. I have one more here from Roger from North Carolina. Thanks, Dory. This is great. I've been wanting to write a book for a while. How do I do that? So the best way, really, Roger, is to go to becomepublished.com, and there you'll be able to learn all the things. And there's also a free webinar you can watch on that page on how to become an influencer. And it has great content in it, by the way. You should definitely watch it. And then you can always call our office and we'll show you how to attend them. Now, the Become Published seminar gets sold out very quickly because we only allow 15 people in it because it's a much smaller seminar. So you want to definitely reserve it early where the leap ahead and the millionaire circle, we can have more people in them. So those are the things we can do. So I am right at the hour. I want to say thank you so much for joining us. I want to encourage you to go to the inspirationmanagement.com page, the seminar pages, check out the Leap Ahead and check out the Millionaire Circle. If you've already been to Leap, then come to the Millionaire Circle. If you have not been to either, you definitely need to make them part of your plan for next year so you can improve your business. So again, if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to us. And uh, we're always looking for feedback and input. So always reach out. And if you're not following us on Instagram and Facebook yet, please do so. 
and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, you guys, God bless. Wish you, wish you uh, much success. And until next time, stay inspired. Bye now.